So, just a very quick uh, introduction of myself. I am uh, uh, the CIO or CIDO of uh, Jera. I uh, started uh, one year ago, 2018, so just very new to this field of energy. I was before the CIO of Coca-Cola. And uh, I have uh, learned a lot about the energy and their challenges going on, you know, from uh, the, the business we are doing today in Jera as the longest value and supply chain of energy from upstream until uh, the downstream and power generation. Uh, we have huge challenges and uh, technology is the only way to solve certain number of these challenges for the future. Uh, just as everybody knows, the energy it's not a uh, seasonal business, it's not retail. It's much more on the investment for 10, 15, 20, or 30 years investment. So having a sustainable solutions and, uh, to, and imagining the next uh, business models is very, very important for us. Hence, I'm here. Okay, so uh, basically what we are trying to say in, is energy with a long value chain uh, and opportunities, they have normally much more use cases for using newest technology which uh, claim to be disruptive. And uh, personally, uh, not or personally only, but I believe it's really disruptive to uh, not only for the energy sector, for any sector. Because for a certain number of reasons that many would, could not present to the business people as such. Those reasons which uh, they sometimes uh, we publish, we say like it's because of uh, blockchain is secure, uh, it's not true, in fact. It is true, secure, but not more secure than anything else. It can have secure solutions. When I say because of uh, decentralization and uh, removing the middleman, that's very true, but removing the middleman was not the, the only part which makes it very appealing. It's the most important part is the consumer and reaching the consumer in a way that can be much more beneficial for the consumer and consumer become a producer of, of content. It can be physical content like an energy, like they are producing energy and they're consuming it so they can sell it. They can be con producing uh, content of uh, financial uh, value like uh, IP, you know, intellectual property. It can be anything else. So focusing on the side of, uh, of consumer and having that consumer creating that value and selling the value and benefiting from the value, not what we're doing today in Facebook, for example, which you create your content, you get nothing out of it. When you create content in YouTube, you get a little bit out of it. You need to really to ask your friends and your grandmother to, to subscribe to your like, channel, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. To get a little pennies, and I, it's very complex, in fact. But you, as a consumer, can be creating and producing and getting out of it because consumer, I won't say is a king, but uh, it's in the modern world, it's very well connected. So if this, there's a story behind that. In the energy market, the story is there, but it's not very well exploited and doesn't, doesn't, doesn't uh, uh, how to say, it's a little bit uh, muddy. It's like mud with when we speak about crypto, think about some scandals happening, etc. So Japan, in fact, uh, is a company, is, is, is a country, not a company, sometimes it's a company with huge industries and a lot of reach in, uh, and the regulated market, etc., and are pushing very, very strong into uh, blockchain and connected industries, etc. And so it's not the government itself. Mm -hmm. It is the business adoption of that. They need basically to have a story to the business to the con that this is how we are going to do it. And the second thing is the integrability. The solution of blockchain today is like island. Not only the consumers or producers are islands, but also the, uh, the whole solutions is basically separated from the mainstream business processes. Mm -hmm. Connecting this both of that and having ways of connecting this uh, between uh, the blockchain solution and the mainstream, the back office, etc. And at the same time, leveraging the AI, which is growing. It's not two different technologies, but they are integrated technologies. But there is nothing, or not almost, a sustainable way of doing that. So that's why I think, in my own point of view, we have a lot of opportunities uh, to, uh, to benefit from this. Uh, Armand's uh, solution of RED, and I spoke with him yesterday about it. I'm so excited about it, really. Uh, Thank you. 
Seriously, okay? He didn't pay me for that, so <laughs> it's for free. It's free content from my side. Uh, but uh, seriously, this kind of, beha of uh, adoption, it can come by having large companies like Jera getting behind that and shaping the future of blockchain solution, not waiting for two or three years until they come with a new solution. I think uh, we have a duty to be part of this journey and uh, shaping it in a way that can integrate and answer our real immediate, immediate problems. No, thank you. Thank you.